Now everybody can access the most powerful AI language model in the world for free because Forefront AI is offering the free access to GPT-4 in alpha. And in this video, I'll show you how to get access to the Forefront AI and we will be comparing ChatGPT and Forefront AI side by side to test this new GPT-4 model. So without any further delay, let's grab it for completely free. Simply paste this URL in your search bar and sign up your free account. Now you can skip this formality or you can select the folder to classify your chats. And here you have to select the persona. So what the personas are? Personas are the chatbots with their own unique personalities and capabilities. And by default, you will get a helpful assistant. And I will prefer to use that default model. Now we are in and as you can see they have categorized all of these personas according to their personalities and abilities like uh, productivity, history, celebrity, Harry Potter and Disney characters and all of these characters are based on the real life personalities. And from here you can create your own persona according to your needs and if we see on the left side we have our chat histories just like ChatGPT. And from here you can select GPT-4 model and that's a game changing option. So let's test this and find out is it actually using GPT-4. So I gave it a prompt to make a markup calculator using HTML, CSS and JavaScript and the result should be displayed in charts. And you can also use JS libraries to display that chart. And then I gave the same prompt to chat GPT. And if we notice the GPT-4 technology is little slower than GPT-3 and it's even slower in forefront but it's not about being fast it's all about accuracy and in first attempt chat gpt gave me an incomplete code and then i asked it again to continue the rest of the code and then it provided me the remaining part of that code but gpt4 provided me a complete code in just one go so let's try both of these codes and compare them side by side so this is the result of Forefront AI that is using GPT-4 and this is working perfectly. Changing the charts are changing according to the price and each bar is representing the correct value of the results. And then I tried chat GPT code and here is the result. The interface is looking good but when I put any value and try to calculate the values it didn't work. Maybe this could be an error in JavaScript. Uh, but it's not also displaying any kind of chart. So in this situation, GPT-4 wins. And in second prompt, I ask it to provide me a list of 10 recipes of eggs where, where every word is starting with capital letter A. And exactly every word is starting with letter A. And then I tried the same prompt with chat GPT. Only the first word is starting with capital letter A, but the rest of the sentence is just a simple sentence. So why I tried this prompt? Because when OpenAI was showcasing their GPT-4 model, they used the exactly same prompt just to showcase the ability of GPT-4 model. And in this case, again, GPT-4 is a clear winner. And if you guys don't know, I have already made a video about how to get GPT-4 for free where we tried Syncode AI. But because of high demand, they limited that model only to the 3000 words. But this is a far better version than the Syncode AI in terms of accuracy. But the only drawback is it doesn't have access to the internet and you have limit of 5 prompts in every 3 hours while you are using GPT-4 model. So by the time I'm recording this video, this is completely free to use and it's actually working on GPT-4 model. So that's it from this video. If you find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.